happy Red Day, you guys. Red Taylor's version is officially out in the world and Tay has been on the night show circuit revealing intimate details behind her song All Too Well and even gave her bestie Selena Gomez a surprise shout out. Let's get into it. Last night, Taylor dropped the highly anticipated re-recording of her 2012 album Red. And if we're being honest, we've been up since midnight listening to it on repeat. And lucky for us, Tay also spent the evening on back-to-back -back late night appearances, stopping by The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon and Late Night with Seth Meyers. And the best part of those appearances, she shared the intimate details behind the 10 minute version of her hit song, All Too Well. The one that I am the most excited about is a song called All Too Well, in parentheses, the 10 minute version. Tay revealed that it was her favorite song on the original album. And although it was not a single, it ended up being a fan favorite as well. But Taylor also shared the sad details behind writing the track and explained that she'd been going through a bit of a sad time while writing All Too Well. And let's be honest, it totally put us in our feels. And I showed up for rehearsals and I just was really upset and sad and everybody could tell it was like really like not fun to be around me that day. Um, and so I started playing guitar and just kind of playing the same four chords over and over again. Apparently that sad mood led to an impromptu recording session, which led to the wonderful masterpiece that our Swifties are all standing over. Band sort of joined in and I started ad-libbing what I was going through and what I was feeling and, and it went on and with the song kept building and building and building in intensity and the song just went on for about you know, 10 to 15 minutes of us doing this. Tay and her band apparently moved on from that improvised session to rehearse for her Speak Now tour. But lucky for Tay and fans, Taylor's mum got a copy of the 10 minute version of All Too Well from the sound guy who apparently recorded it. Um, huge shout out to Taylor's mum. And though Tay joked that the 10 minute version was absurdly long, obviously we don't agree because we've been streaming it on repeat since its release as well as the rest of Red Taylor's version, which is likely how the album hit number one on iTunes only 10 minutes after its release. Wild. And that's not the only insight Tay dropped about the original 10 minute version of All Too Well. While talking to Seth Meyers, she told him that while promoting Red in 2012, she actually had to take breaks to cry during interviews. She started off by saying, at the time I was like, honestly, really sad. Cause I'd actually gone through, you know, the stuff that I had sung about. She went on to say, but this time I'm just like, I got like, I have like got sunglasses on and like a mojito and just like, <laughs> it's chill this time. It's really nice to be able to put this album out and like, and not be sad, not be like taking breaks in between interviews to cry. Yeah. It's very, I'm telling you, it's much better this way. Yeah. <sighs> we love hearing Tay say this so much. And as fans know, there's a lot of speculation that Taylor's ex, Jake Gyllenhaal, was the subject of the song. And though Taylor hasn't confirmed it's him, Seth did ask her, I wonder if there are people who might think that they were the one you were singing about, if it's easier or far, far worse for them 10 years later. And Tay's answer was, everything i haven't thought about their experience to be i honest. think that's the that's the biggest burn <laughs> burn indeed and in another moment from taylor's red press rounds she gave a shout out to her bestie selena gomez during a game on the tonight show with jimmy fallon where the guest and the host guess if the other person is telling the truth about what's in a box tay name dropped selena's hit disney show i don't have to lie because I'm very excited to tell you that it's a Wizards of Waverly Place DVD with a weird ribbon around it that says I see corn. But it was revealed that Tay was in fact lying and was just bringing up her BFF. Right. You should have known I was lying because I will I will do anything to bring up Selena Gomez. Anything! <laughs> OMG, if we couldn't love Tay and her friendship with Selena anymore. Honestly, our Swifty hearts are about to burst with this avalanche of Taylor Swift content and you guys, 
brace yourselves. As you know, we've still got more to come today with the All Too Well short film. Until then, I'll just be over here listening to All Too Well on repeat as I sob into my Kleenex. For more on Tay and all things red, click right over here for the full rundown. After that, let me know your thoughts on Red Taylor's version and especially the 10 minute version of All Too Well in the comments section below. I'm your host, Susan Morad. You can find me on socials at Susan underscore Morad. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.